The Wilson County Sheriff's Office is mourning the loss of one of their own tonight and support is pouring in. Pitt County deputies and Greenville police officers are sending thoughts and prayers after the death of Lieutenant Ray Bull Tomlinson, who was off duty at the time. Now, sources tell our Raleigh CNN affiliate that Tomlinson went into cardiac arrest after being stung by a wasp. Now, this accident's drawing attention to how EpiPens are important in saving lives during allergic reactions. Brandon Goner explains why some first responders in the East are not equipped with the devices. Angela, in cities like Greenville and Kinston, only firefighters and paramedics carry epinephrine. That's the drug inside EpiPens. Greenville Fire Rescue Lieutenant Chris Ciesco says his medics do not use EpiPens. They actually draw the drug itself through a syringe and inject it. I asked Lieutenant Ciesco whether more first responders like police officers should carry EpiPens since they already carry Narcan kits for heroin overdoses. He tells me that's not necessarily a good idea. First responders need training to understand understand the difference between a simple allergic reaction like a rash and anaphylactic shock, which is when your airways start closing. I think given in the wrong circumstance, if somebody's not truly having a anaphylactic reaction, if they're just having an allergic reaction and you administer and they have heart problems, you can put them in cardiac arrest by giving them epinephrine. During summer months, Lieutenant Siesco tells me the paramedics see a spike in allergic reaction calls because you have more bees, hornets, and fire ants out. He also urges anyone who starts experiencing symptoms of an allergic reaction to contact 911. Brandon Goldner, 9 on your side.